talk about the past experience before um, we had some youth who had nothing to do like they have uh, other life that is not so welcoming um, they have mm. bad stories so I've been talking to them giving them guidelines depending on the skills they have and some have gone back to school and some are planning to do art I do my art from home and from home when I'm doing I encourage them to come and work together with me though most of the time I don't do the art on campus my painting has gone to the level I paint house decorate uh, ceiling boards and then make some good uh, decorative art graphics and all those things when I'm doing I call them to see the benefit of art so those things they will see I, I used a formative art before I told them to draw their, their art or to draw or paint their dreams so that they can follow because without affirmative art you might be thinking of uh, getting something in future but you forget them you just put them in your brain and then you don't put them in work because there is no other thing to remind you but when you put it in a, a, a wall maybe you paint it or put it in a paper it is more good and they are really working towards it now <clears throat> the challenge they are getting is art is a little bit expensive if somebody is uh, used to specific materials like for the painting the paint itself is expensive so I advise them maybe to do other thing beside to get the money to buy the paint mm. and others who have gone back to school because I'm also good at counseling I had to counsel them there are some students who their parents can afford to go to school their, their parents can afford to pay fees so they have seen the benefit of art in me because whenever I do work, I take them. I don't take the photo, but I take them to see and I show them the money. Sometimes I spend it on them so that they know that in art you can use the money and you enjoy your money more than the one you steal and, and all those things. So one day I organized all of them. I asked them to do that. It was so interesting. Though I did not uh, take a lot of photo of it because I moved from places to places villages asking like when I'm doing my evening walk I get people they start asking why do you draw so nice like this so I always ask them what do you really want to become in the future who do you want to be so some may talk and talk and talk all those things but I've decided since I know the knowledge of affirmative art mm, for the past experience some have started making it because I used to work without papers and pen but since I wanted them to put their dream on their wall uh, I started working with the paper and pen because for me I can afford it with those things are easier so I give them the draw I told them not to put in the toilet for TP and they have to use it uh, for their uh, reminding them of what they do and I have other students that have been working with them because I've been teaching in some other institution and <clears throat> some groups like uh, women empowerment as i did in kajansi some times ago mm. uh, when i was still in yard i have some group here i was teaching them how to make beads the paper beads and the glass beads so those things i the first thing they did was to realize what they want to make because beads can bring different uh, uh pieces mm. so some of them are getting money all of that I don't have time to get them for you to take the photo but they are working they are even doing more better than me because they are getting those things so those are the few experience I can share because I'm seeing them it's changing their life they are enjoying it even not these people who just talk there are other people that I tried helping but I've not given up I will still go on though working nowadays we work for rent and stomach but I will also try my level best to get there. Yeah, thank you.